Hi friends, today is Monday. It is the first official day of spring break and my family is out camping. We drove all the way here with our camper. You can see all the trees behind me. Um, and we're really excited to be here and have some fun this week. I've got a story to read to you called Llama Llama Loves Camping. You know that Mrs. Whittington loves camping too. Here we go. Llama Llama Loves Camping. I'm excited to go camping tomorrow, Llama Llama tells his friends. He has never camped overnight before. Neither has Nellie New, Luna, Gilroy, or Euclid. It will be super fun, Mama Llama says, and Grandma Llama and I will be there with you the whole time. So there they are in the living room talking. Camping is going to be very different from being at home, says Llama. Luna nods. We will be out in the open under the trees and the sky, and we won't have any kitchen or house things like a refrigerator, an oven, or lights, says Gilroy. Euclid looks worried. After all, he loves gadgets. We can't use any machines while we camp, he asks. That's right, says Mama Llama. We're just going to bring the essentials. Essentials are the few things we really need. But don't worry, Euclid. It's only for one day and night. The next day is warm and sunny as the campers arrive at the campground. Welcome to our overnight adventures in the woods, says Grandma Llama. Llama Llama and his friends cheer loudly. Everyone has one bag, except for Euclid. He's carrying two. Don't worry, he explains. I only brought the essentials. That's a lot of essentials, Nellie says with a laugh. So there he is with one, two bags. Okay, campers, says Mama Llama, let's go for a hike while it's still light outside. Euclid pulls a, handled, a handheld gadget out of one of his bags. I can plug our route into my directional device, he says. Remember, Euclid, Llama says kindly, no gadgets allowed. Euclid sighs. Okay, he says, putting it away. Not using gadgets isn't going to be easy. Mama Llama leads the campers along a trail in the woods. Wow, says Llama, looking around. These trees are so tall. I've got some tall trees behind me too. I wonder how tall they are, Euclid says. Can I measure them with my digital tape measure? Luna shakes her head. No gadgets, she reminds him. Oh yeah, Euclid says. There they're looking up those trees. When the group gets farther into the woods, Mama Llama asks the campers to stop for a moment. Let's listen to the sounds of nature. Right now I have cars driving by me. What do you hear? What do you think you hear in nature? Think about that. Now it's quiet. I don't hear much. Llama pauses. I hear a bird chirping, he says. I hear leaves rustling, says Gilroy. I hear a tree creaking, says Luna. Nellie points to a bee. I hear buzzing, she says. I hear all that too, says Euclid. And I hear water flowing in the distance. I wonder what that water could be. The sounds in the woods are very different from the sounds at home, says Luna. Yeah, says Nellie. Those are machine sounds. Beep, ring, ring, wee, wee. She laughs at her imitation of a siren. Euclid pulls a tape recorder and a camera out from his bag. I want to make a recording to remember the sounds, he explains. Mama Llama smiles at Euclid. For this trip, let's just listen and try really hard to remember everything. I forgot, says Euclid. No gadgets. This is tougher than I thought. After their hike, Llama and his friends help Mama Llama and Graham set up camp. Instead of a house, they have a tent. Instead of a refrigerator, they have a cooler with ice. And instead of an oven, they have a roaring campfire. 
So there's their fire. Mr. Whittington and Kenan want to go get wood because we didn't bring any for our fire. It takes some work to camp out, says Mama Llama, but it helps you appreciate the nice things you have at home a little more. Later, the campers eat a delicious dinner around the fire. And now it's time for dessert, says Grandma Llama, handing out sticks. Do we just eat these, asks Gilroy. What do you think they're going to do with the sticks around the fire? No, says Graham, laughing. You eat these marshmallows after we roast them on the fire. So they take a stick and they put marshmallows all down that stick and hold it over the fire and the marshmallows get nice and warm and sometimes burnt. As the sun sets, everyone roasts marshmallows over the fire. They taste delicious, even better than the dessert we make at home. It's getting pretty dark out, says Nellie. It is, said Euclid. But it's pretty nice roasting marshmallows in nature, he adds, with no gadgets. See the stars. Finally, it's time for bed. Inside the tent, the, tam the campers get cozy in their sleeping bags. Once they're all tucked in, Mama Llama has an idea. Let's listen closely to the sounds outside and pretend they're music, she says. I hear a little bit of buzzing and I hear some other people next to us playing their music right now. The campers close their eyes. They hear crickets chirping. They hear a bird calling. They hear the wind whooshing and an owl hooting. It sounds like they're all talking to each other, says Llama. The music of the forest is very peaceful. As they listen to the nighttime sounds, the campers slowly drift off to sleep. There they all are in their sleeping bags. In the morning, sunlight streams into the tent. The campers wake up feeling refreshed. Mama Llama and Graham are very proud of Llama and his friends for spending the entire night in the woods. Sometimes that can be scary. But everyone is especially proud of Euclid. Good job! Cheers, Llama Llama. You didn't use any gadgets for our camp out. Thank you, Euclid says. It was a fun challenge. I like the woods. The other campers agree. Can we go on another hike before we leave? Nellie asks. We sure can, says Grandma Llama. But first, breakfast. We can use my electric waffle maker, says Euclid. Oh, wait, he adds. That's kind of a gadget, isn't it? He's made it this far without using machines, and he isn't going to stop now. Now, the way Mrs. Whittington is camping, we brought our camper, so I do have machines this time. Um, I want to hear all about what you are doing this week. So send me a video, ask mom and dad to upload it. Tell me what books you've read. Um, maybe you can have mom and dad help you type up a story for me of something you've done, but I can't wait to hear from you, see pictures. Um, and I wanna know how your little spring break is going. I can't wait to talk to you soon. I love you all, bye.